Cambodia, the land of wonders. Present-day Cambodia is a kingdom that combines the ancient and the postmodern, the stone and the glass, monks and business people, handcrafters and scholars. The Khmer supremacy over Southeast Asia started in the 9th century and lasted for 600 years, time in which Buddhism was established. Today, we see numerous temples that remind us of Cambodia's glory days, and Buddhism survives as Cambodia's dominant religion. Buddhism is a large part of the Khmer people's lives. They are devout and deeply rooted in their ancestry. Aside from their religion, people's livelihood is often passed down for many generations. Silk weaving is one of these industries, with techniques and weather conditions ideal for developing some of the world's finest silk. Just like using silkworm to develop an entire industry, the Khmer people are using every resource available to them. Farming and fishing are still prevalent in Cambodia and the majority of the population still lives in rural areas. The tropical weather conditions allow for growing a big diversity of fruits and vegetables and also producing some rare products. One of these is palm tree sugar. To make the sugar, farmers collect the sap from the palm trees. Next, they pour it in a large pot where they boil it. After the water evaporates, the sugar paste is placed in different shape casts where it hardens and is then packaged for sale. An entire family is able to survive from palm sugar production. Cambodia is developing. Banks are opening. Universities are growing. And the economy is improving. Nonetheless, there is much more to be done in Cambodia. Much more not in terms of improving the socio-economic structure, but in terms of bringing hope to people. A hope for a future of eternal life. A hope for a savior. A hope for joy even now. There are some who have decided to bring this hope to the Khmer people. And today, we see the result of their efforts all across Cambodia. One of these places is what for you Hello, my name is Tim Meadows. I was uh, born in England, raised and educated in Australia. But God called my wife and I to, to missionary work in other countries. And so for the last 20 years, we've been here in Cambodia. In 1995, as I was having devotions, the Holy Spirit began to speak to me and give me a plan for what God would have our family to do. And that plan involved setting up a layman's training center. God was very specific. He said that we were to do this in faith, trusting completely in Him to provide for all of our needs. And so in 1996, we bought 19 hectares, 42 acres of land just outside of Siem Reap town and began to establish the Layman's Training Center. At the same time, we were planning a church in our local community. The first Layman's Training Program, a four month long program for Adventist Cambodian Christians, began in uh, 1998. And at the end of that training, we sent out nine uh, teams to begin planning new churches in the Cambodian countryside. The trainings continued. All, in all, we ran 12 trainings. In 1999, God impressed us that we should also start a school for our local community. And today, 2012, that school has grown to a K-12 school and uh, we have 330 students. We ran a medical clinic for a little while, four years. And during that time, God impressed us that there was a part of the population that had special needs and they were children that had been orphaned because of HIV AIDS. And so in 2003 we opened an orphanage specifically to take care of these children but not only. This orphanage has grown and today we have 170 children in the orphanage. 
throughout all of this, God has been our provider just as He promised. It has not been our plan to solicit funds, but just to trust God in providing. We tell people what God is doing for us and the many miracles and blessings that He has given us. And God has always been faithful. He has never failed us. And so today, you are going to see what God has done. The school at Wat Prilisu prepares the students to begin working as teachers, media producers, evangelists, or missionaries. The school's priority is to train missionaries where students are encouraged to initiate further outreach opportunities for the Khmer people in any job they will take on. After studying at here for six years, I know how to speak English, I know how to listen and know how to write. And also I know how to use computer well and playing guitar. And people are always asking me what I want to do after I finish school. And I said, I want to be a mechanic because recently my father was a mechanic and he passed away. And no one re replaced his job. After he, uh, he passed away and I feel like no one replaced it. So I want to be a mechanic to replace this job because I'm the oldest in my family. So I have to uh, replace it because my brother was young. No one could do it. And I look forward to see that to be a mechanic is you have more freedom and opportunity to do in a mission like God's work, like sharing and good news. The school is staffed by a combination of local paid teachers as well as dedicated self-funded volunteers that come from different parts of the world. Some are trained teachers or professionals in other academic areas while others are university students or high school graduates who are eager to help the school by teaching subjects such as English, Bible, music, and math. The volunteers get full accommodation when they come to teach at Wat Prijisu, conditions which are comfortable but simple. Most volunteers value the simple life that enables them to focus more on God and their relationships with people. Some of the volunteers find themselves getting involved in more than just teaching. Several students have come to us recently and asked us for Bible studies. They want to spend more time outside of class, digging into God's Word, studying things deeply, and learning things that apply to their lives personally that will help encourage them. The school provides a variety of opportunities for students. Music is offered as a subject for students who would like to develop their interests as musicians or singers. The school library provides students the chance to develop their knowledge in their different subjects of interest. The computer lab is another place where the students can grow in a more technical direction by learning typing and programming skills. The school cafeteria is a place where the students are provided with food and also have a chance to socialize. Students and teachers often eat together and get to know each other outside the classroom. Teaching and caring for the children, teenagers and adults is not an easy job. It is challenging and often even discouraging. The teachers learn to give their time, energy and emotions to the students for a far greater reward. My family and I have been missionaries in Thailand for over 10 years. And ever since I was a child, my parents taught me that being a missionary means you throw everything that you have into the work. You throw in your life, your heart, your skills, everything. And it's easier said than done because it's a challenge. We're humans, we have our ups and down days, and sometimes I don't even want to come and teach. But if we go past that feeling, we will, have, we will receive a great blessing. These kids have taught me so many things. They've taught me patience, to be able to smile when I want to cry, to laugh when I want to scream at them. And I believe that if we learn to be able to receive things, we're also going to be able to give in return as well. Closely connected with the school, the orphanage is a place where parentless children receive spiritual, emotional, and physical nurturing. The orphanage is divided into family units, every family having a husband-wife team taking responsibility for the love and care of 16 orphan children. 
The orphans are integrated into the school and are given valuable life skills to help them be constructive parts of society, church and family. The students that live in the dormitory and the orphans are involved in maintaining the grounds, church activities and gardening. The students, teachers and orphans also find the time to have fun together. A favorite game here at Wat Priyasu is volleyball. Almost every afternoon, students gather and play volleyball. Time for exercise and friendship building. After growing up, some of the orphans move from Wat Priyasu and take on different jobs. Others decide to stay and get involved in the ministry here on campus. ខ្ញុំបានមកនៅទីនេះលោកគ្រូធីមកម្ដងម្ដាល The good news is being preached in the church every Sabbath, where people of all ages from the school, orphanage, and surrounding areas gather together to worship. The youth and children are happy to be involved in singing, memory verse reciting, offering collecting, and other church activities. Every effort is being made to attract people to God. A relatively new initiative here is the Media Ministry. A team of people is working together on translating, recording, and editing content which is geared to the Khmer people. Music, cooking shows, films, children's programs, and evangelistic meetings are being recorded, edited, and distributed in the media studio. The team is constantly working on the production and distribution of literature and DVDs that would benefit Cambodia. Even now, the ministry at Wat Priyasu is changing many lives. We have experienced God's blessing for many years. The place is still expanding and growing, with new houses and facilities being built, new people arriving, and more of Cambodia being reached. God continues to work in this place because we are determined to change lives and bring the good news to the Khmer people. Salt Ministries and Wat Priyasu were born out of a vision that God had given us. And that vision continues today. The goal is to take the gospel to all of Cambodia. And as we continue to develop young people and old people, the goal is always there to help them and to go and share Christ with their community, the community of Cambodia. And so Salt Ministries will continue to focus on this vision, together with the Cambodian Adventist mission of reaching all of Cambodia for Jesus.